Hey everyone, this is Steven. Uh, welcome in the second episode of Steven's Week. Thanks for the great feedback last week. I really appreciate that. So I got a lot of energy to make this second one. And let's dive right into the action. In Barcelona this week, we had the uh, World Mobile Conference and it's the biggest mobile conference in the entire world. And I think that the image of the show was already on Sunday evening when Mark Zuckerberg just walked in a room filled with 5,000 people at the event of Samsung, but no one saw him because they were all wearing these virtual reality goggles. And I think virtual reality is by definition the theme of this conference in Barcelona. If you listen to Mark Zuckerberg, who actually bought Oculus Rift two years ago for two billion, they're putting hundreds of people into that right now. And he thinks that virtual reality becomes the next social platform. You also saw that uh, Samsung launched their virtual reality 360 camera. So everyone can actually make their own 360 video and share them with friends and family. So that are just two examples on how VR is boosting right now. Uh, second thing on that conference was something really cute uh, from LG. It is called the Rolling Bot. And the Rolling Bot is like a, a ball that is actually a robot. It looks a little bit like BB-8 from Star Wars, but then without the little head but it also has a camera in it and it has a laser so you can play with your cat while you're not at home. The customer centricity case of the week is without any doubt at Starbucks where one employee decided to learn sign language to make sure that they, she can offer the same kind of service to the deaf people that come to the Starbucks. I thought that was a truly human touch in customer service. So I wanted to add it in this Stevens Weekly. What was also interesting this week was the, the next step in the whole game between the FBI and Apple about security and privacy. Um, I was really happy to be honest that Apple didn't want to create a backdoor for the FBI in their iPhones. But what you see now is that there was some uh, piece of research in the US that actually said that most Americans are backing up with the FBI and want Apple to build in that backdoor. So you see that most people choose security over privacy today. And that's a really interesting conclusion. Another thing that I saw this week is that Watson, you know, the supercomputer of IBM is actually capable of noticing your emotions in your writing. So it can see if you're sad while you're writing. Isn't that really fun that this is happening now? Another really funny thing is a new gadget that came out. It's a new toothbrush from Oral-B that can actually track your movements in your mouth through a smartphone. So you can now optimize your toothbrushing skills if you want to. Next to that, Snapchat is also trying out a new payment system. Uh, they are trying to figure out how to make money. And the latest thing that they're testing with now is that users can pay for geo filters or brands can pay for customized geo filters so that you have more possibilities um, to you know let people know where you are and where brands are in this world so that's a new feature let's see if that works out in the next few weeks it's really an impressive week all these things that are happening um, like this morning i saw the new robot from boston dynamics the new atlas robot and it's amazing maybe you remember the dog from two years ago that was like a dog but now it's like a a human that is really stable in its walking. It's really amazing how fast these robots are evolving. And by the way, Boston Dynamics is a Google-owned company. And probably one of the, the biggest news items on, on Wednesday was the fact that Facebook reactions are now available on a global level. So now we no longer need to like a post about someone who died on Facebook, but we can say we think this is really sad. So they're adding more emotions, they're calling it reactions, and they are available since this week. And in the last part of the week, some other interesting things happened. And actually, I'm in the airport in Dublin right now, and um, I just had the opportunity to read a few things that I want to share. Um, did you see that Uber started in Thailand with a service where people can get on a motorcycle to get Uber to another location? So for the first time, they're using two wheels to place people or to move people from place A to place B. Uh, they had their delivery with Uber Rush in the past with two wheels, but now it's actually with people and it's starting in Thailand. Uh, next to that, talking about Uber, uh, Didi Kuwaiti, I don't know if I pronounce this in the right way, but the Chinese ride-sharing service, the, the company that makes sure that Uber will bite the dust in China, they raised another billion dollars uh, today. So you can see that this whole ride-sharing thing, you know, it's, it's happening everywhere. And today Uber has a big competitor in China, which will be a very interesting fight to see. So guys, this is the end of the week. This is the things that I saw, quite a spectacular week, if you ask me. Uh, so thanks for watching and um, I really got a lot of energy of making this and I have one question for you. If you enjoyed this video, if it gave you any value, if you like this format, please do me a favor. I need your help to make this a success. So please share it on Twitter, share it through your email system, share it on Facebook, 
share it as much as you can and that would mean a lot to me uh, a lot of work and energy goes into these videos and i love making them and you would make me the happiest guy in the weekend if i see this link of this video everywhere thank you and have a great weekend my friends bye bye